Hey everybody, I'm Caleb and you're watching Caleb Templeman Vlogs and Tech. In this video, I'm going to be giving you tips and tricks on how to feel comfortable with vlogging in public. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe, notifications on, let's get right into it. I done a video on this about three and a half years ago and I was in my local area and I done a quick video. That video got a lot of views and a lot of people have asked for, a, for an updated version. So pretty much, this video is an updated version of the previous video. We've got like 15 tips here. Let's get started. So number one, it's just do it. I've been vlogging on YouTube here for six years, nearly six years, and I've, be I've built the confidence over time. But my first tip is just do it. Don't care about what everyone else around you thinks, because they don't care, but they get on that point and the tick. But at the end of the day, just do it. It's simple. Get out of your comfort zone and just do it. At the very beginning, it's not going to feel natural, but as you go on, it will absolutely start to feel a bit more natural. Number two is going on to what I said prior was the fact that people don't care. One of the main reasons why people are uncomfortable with creating content such as vlogging in public is because they are scared of what people will think and whether they got judged or whatever. You've got people with me at the traffic lights, you've got people I decided the street at the end of the day no one is gonna care with what you're doing um, and at the end of the day you feel that people are watching you which at the end of the day they probably are somebody watching me right now but they might watch you you're gonna think in your head you know oh, they're judging me whatever whatever but at the end of the day no one really cares with what you're doing and they just want to continue with their own business one thing as well really if you just talk quietly don't you know, scream and yell, go at the top of your head. No one's going to care. At the end of the day, a lot of people are busy. People are busy with their own life, they're busy with their own problems. No one's going to care with what you're doing because at the end of the day, they really have so much to do with themselves. Up next is finding a quiet place. Of course, me, I'm going along Crown Street here in Wollongong. It's very loud. There's lots of people around. A recommendation is if you're new to vlogging or vlogging in public especially, is to find a quiet place. You know guys, my fourth tip is be bold. Generally speaking, just be bold. Obviously at the beginning, you will not have as much confidence. You're not gonna have as much confidence as a, like me, let, let, let's use this as an example. We compare me in 2015 to 2021. 2015, 2016, there was not that much confidence. You know, to think of it, I probably couldn't do what I'm doing now in 2015. I had no confidence. It's all about building up that confidence, starting out small and going big. You know, I've vlogged at many events. I've vlogged at events where we've had thousands of people stare at me, literally. So you start with small events, maybe go to a small gig or something with 10, 15 people. And then as you go, increase and sort of you know, build on yourself to build that confidence because at the end of the day, that's all what it's about. It's all about building your confidence. All right, then guys, so tip number five is keeping it short. I know with this video, I'm probably gonna rave on for 20 minutes, but if you're new to vlogging, especially in public, the main rule of thumb is to keep it short. Keeping it short, you know, so you can spend less time in the outdoors, less time feeling anxious when vlogging in public. They always say, keep it short and sweet. Before you go out, before you head out, think about with what you're gonna do. Similarly, if you're making a movie, you do sort of a rundown sheet or even a live stream. Available at calebtemperman.com for that template is a template of vlogging sort of plan. Number six is it's actually an opportunity to promote yourself and to promote your content. Um, you know, for example, I have business cards. Well, I don't have any on me at the moment, but usually I would have about 10, 15, 20 the business cards with me. Why? Many of times that I've been here, I've been walking around in Wollongong. People have came up to me, mate, what are you doing? What's going on? Like, what are you doing? So it's, it's a really good opportunity to promote yourself and to promote and to tell people what you're doing. Because promote I, yourself and to promote whatever content you produce on YouTube or you're making online and live streaming with Melon, calcomcom forward slash Melon, hashtag ad. I'm losing hands here, but tip number seven is taking a friend with you. Of course, doing it by yourself, you're gonna feel a bit anxious and you might feel a bit scared. If you're taking a friend with you, it's gonna lessen the stress of you. You're able to be more natural. 
taking a friend with you. Usually it's something that can work. All right, number eight, similar to Paul, sim similar to choosing a quiet place, is choosing the right place to vlog. You know, for example, I'm near the, the vaccination center here in Wollongong. You know, even down here, we're looking at a quiet area, an area that's quiet, because obviously here, there's not much people around. There's not much people around. I'm able to be here. I'm able to, you know, possibly even sit down. Number nine, start at home first. All right, before you need to go out and vlog at public, one of the easiest tips is to start at home. And bear with me, guys, while I do cross the road here, is start at home. You don't need to go out and about and start your vlog. You can easily start at home. You know, start your vlog at home. Start at home. You can, you can even film content and not post them to YouTube. Um, it's what a lot of people do. I done it back in the day, 2015 me. I literally film videos but never post them. Number 10, be positive and be bold. Now what do I mean by be positive? Be positive and go straight to it. Don't wait until people walk by you. Prior, I walked past 20 people. They were looking at me, some of them were laughing. Did I care about this or not? If I had a business card, I would have gave my business card. I'm at the intersection at the moment. You've got cars everywhere. I'm in the middle of the intersection. I guarantee people in those cars wondering, what is he doing? People are gonna question. People are gonna wonder like, hmm, what's he doing, blah, blah, blah. But guys, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more content, notification bell for more. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tips and trick video. If you want more videos like this, let me know in the comments down below. We'll see you all next time. Bye for now. Now we're going to get a thumbnail for this video.